Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to simulate the destruction of bridge or road using Voronoi Fracture and Field. Create a cube by clicking on the cube icon. Go to the Object tab. Reduce the size Y to 10 cm. And zoom in the default camera. Create a Voronoi Fracture object by clicking and holding on the Cloner icon and choosing Voronoi Fracture from the pop-up palette. Make the cube a child of the Voronoi Fracture. Now we see the fragments of the cube in different colors. Select the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager. Go to the Sources tab. Click on the Point Generator distribution. And change the value of the Point Amount property that appeared below to 300. With the Voronoi Fracture object selected, create a plane effector by clicking on the plane icon. Go to the Parameters tab of the plane effector and set the PY property to minus 10. Go to the Field tab of the plane effector. Click and hold on the linear field and select the spherical field. Then reduce its size to 30 cm. Drag the spherical field back and forth along the z-axis in the viewport to make sure it works. To animate the movement of the field, go to the coordinate step of the spherical field. Set the time slider to frame 0. Drag the field in the viewport against the direction of the z-axis. And click on the little icon to the left of the PZ property to create the first T-frame of the animation. Then move the time slider to frame 90. Drag the field in the direction of the z-axis. And click on the icon to the left of the PZ property again to create the second T-frame. Go to the start of the timeline and press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar to test the animation of the field. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's apply bullet tags to add dynamics to our scene. Right click on the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager. Select Bullet Tags. And click on Rigid Body. Select the Dynamics Body expression that appeared to the right of the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager. Go to the Dynamics tab. And set the Trigger property to On Collision. So that only the part of the object that will be affected by the field collapses. Let's also create a plane and define it as an obstacle. For this, click and hold on the cube icon and choose plane from the pop-up palette. Increase the width and height of the plane to 2000 cm. Lower it down along the y-axis by 100 cm by going to the coordinate step and setting the PY property to minus 100. Right click on the plane in the Object Manager, select Bullet Text and click on Collider Body. Press the Play Forwards button. Stop the animation and go to the start. Let's apply a material to the object. For this, select the Voronoi Fracture in the Object Manager, go to the Object tab. Uncheck the Colorize Fragments tab to disable display of fragments in different colors. Open the Asset Browser by clicking on the Asset Browser logo. Search for Concrete. Drag and drop some concrete material onto the object in the viewport. And close the Asset Browser. Finally, press the Play button. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.